Hi there, here I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful 3D scene and add some nice touches to make it look more attractive. I'll start off by introducing you to some of our 3D scenes which can be found in the 3D scene section of the stage tab. These scenes are 9 times larger than previous iClone scenes and contain a higher level of texture detail. If you want, you can toggle the grid on and off by pressing Ctrl G. Notice that these 3D scenes also include special sky backgrounds as well. If I zoom in a little on the terrain here, you can see the great texture displayed in each of these terrain maps. You can hold down the shift key while you're zooming to increase the speed of your zoom when dealing with large maps. Let's start a new project here and learn how to create a great scene from scratch. The first thing I want to do is add in a terrain. So to do that, I'll go to the terrain section of the set tab. I can simply double click to add in this hill terrain here. I'll zoom out first and turn off the grid to give you a better look. Then head over to the sky section to choose a sky for the scene. You can see that there are a number of different options here. You'll see when I double click that my sky will now be in place with faint clouds in the distance. I'll enhance the scene further now by adding in some water. This is also just as simple as going to the water section and double clicking on one of the preset water templates. If I press play, you can see the water begin moving right away as well as the beautiful sky reflection from the water and light from the scene light source. I'll zoom in on this little peninsula here and what I'm going to do is create my own nice little retirement cottage. Let's start with some trees. If I go to the trees section, I can simply click and drag those into the scene anywhere I want. If I want to reposition my tree, I can press Ctrl Q to toggle the gizmo if it's not already on, and use the directional arrow to move them wherever I desire. There are also a variety of different types of grass that you can choose as well. Here I'm going to select some yellow flowers. If I click and drag, I can bring in a single flower. By simply using my mouse scroll button, I can increase or decrease the size of my flower placement area. In the modify panel to the right, I can also change other values such as density. Once I've done that, I'll sprinkle some flowers throughout my scene here. The next thing I want to do is bring in my cottage. For this, I have a model of a cottage I've taken from our medieval village pack that I'm going to import in from my explorer window simply by clicking and dragging. You'll see it will just place nicely on the terrain. I'll zoom in a little and press play so you can see the peaceful scene. Now you might notice that there are no shadows. So what I want to do is go into the stage tab and light section and change my shadow type from drop shadow to self cast shadow. This means that objects will now cast their own shadows on any other objects, including terrain. You'll see the difference right away. You might notice that the shadows seem a little jagged under the roof of the house though, so if you want to smooth these out, you can go into the same light section and select the blur shadow option. You'll notice now that the shadowing is much smoother now as I zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to add in a horse, which is a non-human avatar included with iPhone 5. Once it's imported, I can press the E hotkey to rotate it in any direction. I'm going to go right away and right click it to bring up its action menu and then select walk. 
Once you select the command, you need to click an area of the terrain that you want the horse to walk to. Once the walk cycle is complete, I'll go again to that same right click menu, but this time I'll select the sod from the perform menu. Once that's done, I can press the F hotkey to focus on the selected object, which is the horse, and from there, get a closer angle shot. Now to add in some HDR lighting. There are a number of preset lighting templates in the content manager, so I'll move down and select the sunny template. Once I do this, you can see an immediate difference in the stage environment, with lighting, fog, and ambient occlusion all included. When I want to play back now, you can see a much more refined result than when I first started. If I want to make the scene more otherworldly, I can go up once again to the sky section and change the values such as hue over in the modify panel. Changing the color of the sky will also change the color of the reflection off the water as well. Last but not least, you can also change the lighting direction easily by holding down the forward slash key and moving the gizmo with your mouse. It's also easy to animate the light. If I just move the timeline forward a bit, then change the light to another position, this will create a sort of sun movement effect when I play back. Notice how all the shadows move along the ground as if the sun was moving through the sky. I'm going to move to another view here so we can see the beautiful reflection of the house, tree and flowers off the water as well as get a good silhouette view of the horse. Notice the nice shadows on the hills and the other scene objects as I pan the camera along. And that's it! Just takes about 5 minutes to create a great scene and animation like this.